All right, a very good evening. Welcome down again to Soft TV, the singer songwriter series. Your man FGL here. I'm back again after all these months, speech impediment and all. <laughs> but it's, it's cool. We have a bumper series, a bumper episode tonight, four artists. And right now, we want to feature one of the, the best, best of the new up and coming artists in Singapore. Please put your hands together and welcome Eileen Chai.
All right, Eileen Chai. Welcome back, Eileen. It's great to have you back on Self TV. And um, what was the title of that song, actually? You. <laughs> That's right. Take your time. Take your time here. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. Okay. Yeah, so enjoy the ride is about how when we go through our life, we try to you know reach our certain life goals, uh, want to achieve excellence, want to fulfill our dreams. Um, in the process, we do have to remember to you know, enjoy the process, enjoy the ride. I see, I see. Yeah, and um, yeah, th this song uh, is actually from uh, inspired by the book that I. I I, I wrote uh, okay, recently. Good. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that a bit, a little bit yeah. more. So you know, tell us from the start, how did you get into you know into the music scene? Ah. <coughs> okay, um, I started music uh, when I was probably about four years old. Wow. Yeah, okay. I picked up the violin when I was four, right. and um, I got to know more of the pop music, the rock, soft rock, hard rock, mm. okay. um, through my brothers actually. My brothers, um, Daniel Chai as well as Christopher Chai. Okay. And, and Daniel Chai, he's actually one of our uh, professional musicians as well. Right. So mm -hmm. both my brothers, they really inspired me when, when I was very young. And, and, okay. and Daniel, being a guitarist now, I uh, always see him, you know, if bringing his guitar to the living room, watching TV and, you know, strumming mm. his guitar even when, you know, he's having a relaxing time. But mm. he enjoys it. So in that sense, he inspired me. Mm -hmm. Then when I got to, when I got to nine years old, uh, I started to train in China. So training in China at that point in time was a bit um, lonely because I didn't have that many friends <coughs> that I could actually talk to. So um, I have my brothers, Daniel and Christopher, as well as a few of my pen pals. They will actually mm. prepare me um, cassette tapes of my favorite songs oh, or even okay. their favorite songs. They will introduce me to me a uh, new song that they've heard on the radio and they will mm. put it into cassette tapes. Mm. Well, at that point in time, it's all cassette tapes, right? So, <laughs> so they actually well, build it I to me in China. Those, yeah, 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 exactly. I'm 24, but I remember doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, then after that, <clears throat> um, I left sports when I was 16. So mm. uh, after that, I was wondering what would I want to do with my life mm. because uh, suddenly without training, uh, you have a lot of spare time in your hands. Mm. So Coming one day, back to yeah. sports just a for a little bit. Sure. So I understand you represented uh, Singapore in... Um uh, I started uh, when I was seven. So that was my first Southeast Asian Games right, then. Right. Yeah. Gymnastics. Yeah, yeah mm. that's right. And yeah. also athletics la later on? Or? Uh, yeah, so... Um, at seven, I represented Singapore mm -hmm. then for gymnastics. Right. Seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen years old, I represented mm -hmm. Singapore in gymnastics. Then okay. thereafter, it was athletics, mm -hmm. then um, swimboard diving. Was yeah. it a big, big thrill to be to be in the Singapore contingent? And uh, you know? <laughs> I guess especially when you are young, as young as seven or nine years old, to you, playing sports is is really just a game. Yeah, so it so was no really pressure. Yeah, no, like no pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure at all. No pressure okay, at all. Okay. But of course, after a while, especially when I turned seven, uh, rather turned nine, mm -hmm. I realized that uh, I needed to improve more on my skills. So, okay. so that was when I decided that I needed to get a bit more serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was when um, I got approval from my parents and the support as well to right. to to go to China to train. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I was nine. Okay. So and after that, no <coughs> no thoughts of really pursuing sports on a more serious level or oh yeah. So when I started training in China, that was the start of the serious oh, okay. training. Right, yeah, right. so that I could you know really improve in in this in my in my sports. Right. Yeah. So coming back from sports <coughs> back to the music thing, yep. how did you know it all become serious? I see that you're you're gigging a lot. Uh, with friends of mine, um, you know, yeah, Smokey, yeah, yeah and Kelvin, and, uh, Kelvin <laughs> a lot of my, my, it was my really fun. <laughs> yeah. and and you're doing a lot of gigs and and whatnot. I see, you know, through your Facebook posts and all that. Mm -mm. So how's it been so far? How are you enjoying the ride, or you know? How yeah, yeah, d d definitely. I I guess because coming from sports background, whereby my sports has always been pretty individualistic. Mm. So for music whereby you can actually collaborate with a lot of musicians and then you come up with very different sounds and different even lyrics writing, right? 
Uh, mm. You can come up with very different lyrics to just portray the feelings that you have at a point in time. Mm. Uh, that that's truly amazing. Yeah, so, I mm. mean because um, <coughs> you know I saw that you you're working with um, Calvin Smokey. That's I right. I was wondering, okay, how are you gonna fit in a fiddle? <laughs> into that blues thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, would you mind playing a couple of blues licks on your fiddle? <laughs> let me, let me, yeah. Yeah, I maybe sit. before I do that, uh, uh, I guess Kelvin has been very encouraging because he was the one who actually invited me to to start jamming with him uh, at Crazy Elephant, right. Blue Jazz, and uh, of course the Southern Jazz Club, mm. and uh, now the Hu Ha at Arab Street. Right. So yeah, it has, it's been quite fun and, and because him he has actually been doing blues for a long time yeah, so I, he, I, he's I, very I, experienced he's he has from a lot my of generation yeah <laughs> so you know <laughs> although he's 57 and I'm 24 so yeah everybody is young at heart <laughs> so that that's great <laughs> Yeah, so uh, he he has been very encouraging because with all his ideas and his uh, knowledge in blues, is is mm. is, uh, is is very refreshing to to hear what he has to say about blues and the people that he actually introduced to us, myself as well, uh, uh, who we should listen to, you know, mm. just to to look at some of the leaks and all that. Mm. So what do you play pentatonic scales or? Uh yeah, but sometimes because being a, a violinist, uh, I I don't really follow. Uh, um, no really blue style. Mm -hmm. So if you hear it, sometimes there's a little bit of classical tune to it, so that um mm -hmm. is is so that it's a bit different rather than right. just you know following the guitar style. Mm. Yeah, that's why. Good. And you're having yeah. fun doing all these gigs. And yeah, 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 definitely. Because once you're everybody is together with the same mind, with the same brain frequency, yeah. you just get together and you can just make music together. Yeah, that's so that's, that's great, fantastic. Yeah. Especially yeah. when the band clicks <coughs> together and you know, yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. going on there. Uh, so yeah. I I see you have a fantastic setup. I'm sure the camera, you know, <laughs> we had a shot. Can we get another shot of it? Wow! You wanna yeah, so you wanna walk us through <laughs> the setup? Or what do you, do you use? Uh, sure, but I won't be using the mic then. I'll just no. Oh, you okay. can just yeah. No. Okay, okay. You want to hold just a briefly mention yeah. it then. Okay, but before so I I introduce this, um, I would like to mention that um, how how I got into this. Obviously, this setup is actually for live looping. All right. So how I got into live looping was because a few years back, I wanted to create my own music. So I, I wanted to have my own style. I wanted to, to share with people how I feel at a point in time through music. So mm. I, I really didn't know how I could do it. I only know that I, I bought this. This was my first set at the M Boss ME25. That's so a guitar effect, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I started using this. Then I realized that, hey, there are, it says loop so that means i can create layers okay so okay. i started creating layers through this then right. i wanted to because i did play a bit of keyboard so i wanted to actually loop my keyboard so, so that i can have some base uh, uh lines and all that right. so that i can then create a little bit more layers using my violin or create different sound effects using a mic mm. then i can play over using my violin okay. but uh, it has at that point in time, I already knew that there were a bit of limitations with because of what I wanted to achieve. This mm -hmm. is good, but what I wanted to achieve, this uh, had a little bit of limitation. Okay. So uh, what I wanted to do was actually to put all the cables for the keyboard, my mic and the violin yep. through this <laughs> system. So I wanted, so I went to Simlim Tower and tried to find an adapter that has three, you know, jacks mm -hmm. that could, I could actually put it through. So I actually tried with yeah, two first, okay. but it couldn't work. So I was quite devastated. <laughs> so yeah, but DIY involved. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so okay. then after that, because I was still in um, doing a lot of corporate work, I was still have holding a full-time job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, my work got a little bit busy. Okay. So that was at the back of my mind. Then one day when I was surfing through the YouTube, I then saw this interview on Randolph Areola. Yeah, 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 exactly. So then he was he was actually creating layers and loops and I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. But, but how, how did he even find gadgets to set up? I was like just blown away by the interview. So then I realized through the interview that he's actually Singaporean. He, he's actually staying in Singapore and, and, uh, and, and gigging at one of the pubs in Singapore as well. So I actually went up to, I actually went to stalk him. And <laughs> yes, I stopped wow. it. <laughs> Something I never knew about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, but um, yeah, uh, I guess he has a good EQ, and we started to chat about it. And then he was very generous enough to actually 
show me how to set up a rig that I could actually do live looping. So this this setup was actually advised by by Randolph Arella, and through this I started to be able to do loops. Yeah, yeah. I see that yeah. you got event tight as well. Yeah, so, so so basically what I have here is um the event types here are basically to create the various sound effects. Yeah. So like just now for um enjoy the ride there was one part whereby there was like sparkly starry kind of sound that that came from the space, space here yeah. yeah so this basically gives the effects um here the boomerang is boom, uh, rank three as well as his sidecar i call it the sidekick because <laughs> this sidecar complements the rank three so these are my loopers and this looper has four channels <laughs> then uh this Boss ME25, it actually only has one function, although it's a huge gadget here. Its function is only to act as my volume pedal. Okay. Yeah, but it, it has been with me for so long that I just can't, yeah. can't, can't bear to, you know, okay, okay. put it out of this rig. It's, it's, it was my first, you know, pedal effect. Um, then I have my mic mechanic. My mic mechanic is uh, for, for my vocals so that I can have this uh, uh, breathy vocals kind of sound effect, ah. which I wanted to, you know, like simulate like a cigar raw sound. Yeah, then of course, this is my mixer, just right. to to control the entire volume. And you have a phaser there as well? Free uh, phrase, no, sorry, phrase sampler. Phrase sampler, yeah, so mm. thi uh, these two are, are the loopers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's a pretty <laughs> impressive <laughs> setup. Yeah, thanks to Randolph. Yeah. I tell you honestly, my personal setup is the the size of your ME25. I use the <laughs> ME30 boss as well. Yeah, I I guess it's very di uh is different priorities. Of course, if I if I started without actually um approaching Randolph, I probably would have a s different setup. Mm. But I was really impressed by what Randolph was doing. So and, and what he has actually advised, yeah. um, or the tips that he has given, and I really like this kind of sound. But I, I, I um, but I can say that I probably will change the sound over time because mm. with this sound, what I'm doing now is very inspirational um, towards more of the emo kind of sound. Yeah, yeah. beautiful stuff. Beautiful yeah, it's, stuff, it's yeah. very different, definitely. Mm. But I, I probably want to actually do something uh, more of a happier kind of sound, happier kind of songs as mm. well. So. Uh, over time, I'll, I'll I'll see what I can do with the the okay. rig. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay, and I believe that you got a, you've got a book out as well. So uh, we yeah, can yeah. Get a <laughs> share of it. Yeah. Yeah. Free teach plug a life for, you. for life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's teach a life for life. Yeah, yeah. Eileen, you want to tell us a bit more about this book? Yeah. So teach a life for life book contains uh, my life journey through sports and music. Um, why I wrote this book because firstly I wanted people to to reflect on the life lessons that I've learned yeah to con uh, to reflect on the life lessons that I've learned so that each and every one can <laughs> can reflect on our own lives so that we can actually better our present and our future and of course it also uh, serve to to thank the people who have actually helped me through my journey in sports and music because it I do realize that, especially for my mom, it was also because of my mom that I, started, I, I got to realize that whenever we want to reach our milestones, whatever that we, we are doing, it's mm -hmm. not just our own effort. It takes the effort of everybody, just like how we have yourself doing the MC, you we have uh, Leslie helping out with, <laughs> with the videography, as well as uh, yeah. James, you know, so to actually set up this soft TV. I mean, it's not just our own effort, it's, yeah, it's everybody's collective. effort. Yeah, it's collaborative. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, basically, you're talking about paying it forward. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. exactly. So, the, out the outcome of this book is actually to encourage people to share their life stories, pass yeah. it forward. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, their life lessons learned so that we can help each other to you know, better and the lives uh, of others. Where, are, where, where is the book available for purchase? Uh, at all major bookstores. Major, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's also on my website as well, so you can okay. order online. So right. my website is uh, eileenchai.com, E-I-L-E-N-C-H-A-I.com. Mm, it's great, yeah. it's great. Yeah. And um, there's another thing, you know, I remember I was in hospital recently. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's I right. I was um, lying in bed with my <coughs> eyes closed. Yeah. yeah. And um, I just, I don't know why, I just opened my eyes, happened to open my eyes. And suddenly I saw, what's this angelic figure coming <laughs> towards me? <laughs> <laughs> and she got closer. That was Eileen Chai coming to see yeah, me yeah, in the hospital. Yes. 
with me and all the tubes and all the yeah it know? was was wasn't easy and, for and you yeah and I like really like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming to see me you really picked up my spirit for the day mm. thank you um, thank you, you know, it was actually Valari yeah. sorry yeah it was actually Valari the drummer who actually taught me oh about, yeah, about yeah about yeah, about yeah. you yeah I had a lot of musicians who came I think yeah, yeah. so many you know mm, I, I mm, couldn't mm. get any rest in fact mm. but uh, yeah I really appreciate it yeah. yes. Yeah, I, I'm glad to see you here today. It's yeah, yeah you know, thank amazing you. shape. Thank it's you. amazing. Yeah, you look yeah, so fresh. 30, 30 kilos, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hundred percent yet, but mm, uh, mm, I'm, mm. I'm strong enough to gig. You know, I just did yeah, a gig yeah. last night and so yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, music does wonders. Oh yeah, definitely <laughs> keeps you young as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. So let's see. Um, <coughs> you've talked about the looping thing. You've talked any your pastimes. I'm sure you've got time for you know, water <laughs> diver diving. <laughs> Uh, dive, yeah, I, I used to do springboard diving, but um, those sports were pretty mm. much competitive, so I, I, I've stopped competitive sports. Right. But for leisure, uh, I will actually go running, cycling. Uh, usually for cycling, uh, I'll, I'll be cycling with my husband, mm. Ben, who, uh, who's, who also wrote so the lyrics. Here, can we get a shot of him? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> we, yeah, we... I, his uh, Ben is <laughs> your husband stroke uh, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get a shot of Ben. <laughs> let's just say hi to everybody. There you I go. Look, uh, look and that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, that's Ben. Thank you. So, how long have you guys been married? <coughs> uh, just slightly half a year. Mm. Yeah, just slightly over half the year. Okay, oh, so yeah, congratulations, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Thank you, thank Very you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he he also wrote the real lyrics for for enjoy the ride. Oh, your next song. Uh, the the, the first song that I sang. Yeah. yeah, enjoy the ride. Okay, okay. And what's yeah. the next? The title of your next song? Uh, the title of the next song is um, it's called uh reborn. Okay. So reborn, uh, wait, just rewind a bit. So for for enjoy the ride. Um, the music production was actually done by a, a, f a mix of people. Right. It was actually done by Ben, my husband, as well as uh, Leonard from Resonance Audio and uh, Patrick Chung. Um, Paddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> mentioning yeah. a lot of my old friends. Yeah, yeah. So, so Paddy, Paddy actually did it at his Tom's Tom's yeah. Loft. Yeah, the recording was done there okay. and the mixing as well. So it was a collaborative effort. Has it been released yeah. yet? Uh, on uh Yes, uh, is uh, all the three songs, which is part of the EP, right. uh, is actually can be found on my website. Okay. Yeah. So the release of this song is actually just streaming through the website. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm not even you know, really selling it or yeah, putting it into physical yeah. form. It's all digital. Yeah, I, I, okay. to me, I guess because it's my first EP, I thought um, I still have a long way to go to make it good. So yeah. and and I really enjoyed the process of it. So I thought just share it with people. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. that's the bottom line. End of the day, the bottom line is you gotta enjoy yourself. Yeah, it? yeah. Exactly. So we, do you want to tell us about <coughs> the next song that you're gonna do for us? Yes. So um, before the next song. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so that there's one. Um, the yeah. song that I'm not going to mm -hmm. sing today is called Spread Your Wings. So Spread Your Wings, the lyrics is actually written by Kevin Matthews. Okay. Yeah, so he, I had one session with him before yeah, when he actually yeah. mm. uh, released his own album called Emo Fascism. Mm. Right. So Kevin Matthews wrote the lyrics and the music production was done by Ben. Mm. Um, this piece of music would actually be uh, put into a music video. So okay. it will be released few months down the road. So okay, for cool. uh, for people who wants to actually keep track of the music video, you can actually assess the Facebook, uh, teach your life for life. Yeah. So okay. So the last song, <laughs> okay. which is called Reborn. Reborn. The lyrics is actually written by this lady called Y W Lee. She mm. was actually part of the National Library Board um, singer songwriter series. Mm. So she's really an up and coming singer songwriter. Okay. She writes both English as well as Mandarin lyrics. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, if anybody wants to actually have lyrics written, I think we can actually look for her. Why? Right. Because those lyrics for this piece of music was actually pretty challenging because the way most of the time the lyrics are written is, is, is a certain sort of structure. But for this song, I wanted more to be less, uh, less um, you know, picture painting, but really mm. something that is more tangible. Right. So re she really had to change the style of writing and, and she, she, she got it. So she really put in the time and effort okay. to do it. Yeah. And um, so this song, Reborn, is actually about 
um, how we may sometimes blame others for our own predicament. Mm. Yeah, so, but when we self-reflect, we realize that there are certain life details that, you know, in our life that when we harness it in a positive way, it yeah. can actually yeah. make our lives better. I see. Yeah, so, and once we are able to find that, that happiness, that we, we, are, we will be able to look at, see things brighter, we see rainbows of colors of mm-hmm. life, yeah, and then we are reborn. That's a beautiful and uh, an optim- optimistic and beautiful. And all yeah, yeah, and it's all inspired by, by the Teach Your Life for Life book. That's great, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, uh, if you're <coughs> going to get ready, do you need a minute to set up? Or? Uh, no, I'll probably need a few seconds. A few yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. All you, all you softies out there, you know, I certainly hope you're enjoying the session so far. I know I am. Uh, all of us are. I can see James nodding and tapping his head to me. I can see uh, Leslie having her dinner over there as well and enjoying the music as well. Let's put it together. Second time out tonight for Eileen Chai. <coughs> Reborn.
wonderful stuff. It's been such a pleasure having you on the show t- this evening, you know, and you know, it's you. fantastic. Okay, uh, we're going we're gonna to have to wrap things up soon, but um, sure. last shout out. Do you have any shout out to any, anybody out there that you want to, um, you know, say hi to? On uh, yeah, I, I, um, I guess I have um, two more things that I'd like to actually oh yes, mention. Yeah, great. And one is that um, I would like to actually encourage um, people, mm. anybody out there, to... You know, email me to teach a life for life at gmail right. com to share your life story so that we can pass forward our mm. life lessons learned. Yeah, because I'm actually starting to create a a, a platform with blog stories of people who are actually sharing, willingly sharing their, their life stories mm. and the lessons learned. And from this, I actually want to um, transform it into songs. So I actually want right. to collab- start collaborating with musicians to, to transform yeah, I'm all the various... Yeah, I'm with you, <laughs> yeah, 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 let, Let's do that yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, so that we can, um, instead of just reading the, 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 the lessons learned, we can actually listen to the songs mm. with the lessons learned. So I think that will give people a different perspective. Yeah. yeah and second thing that I'd like to mention is that um, whoever, wherever you are, we should always try to be... I'm pretty sure a lot of people are doing it already, but it's just the awareness. Sometimes we need to have that, even for myself, that we need to be grateful with the things that we have because it's always a collaborative effort to, to, to reach our you know, goals in life. Yeah. Very well said, very well said indeed, yeah. 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 So. Okay, <coughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to the sounds of Eileen Chai for the last half an hour or so. And uh, we're going to knock it out right now, but stay tuned because we've got the sounds of uh, Kill Teddy coming on later on. Yeah. <laughs> Peace and out.